Three of our wonderful staffers, Tom, Isabel and Bert, are going to tell a story to all of us, but particularly to Natasha and Ryan. And two of the stories are completely made up. They are liars. One of them is telling the truth. It's your job to ask questions to the guests and find out which is the true story, OK? So our staffer will tell you a sentence that best describes the story, and you guys can ask as many follow-up questions as you like, OK? Are we ready for the story? Yes, but I realise I need glasses, and so it's Bert, Isabel, Bert, and Isabel Tom. Isabel and Tom, so... OK, so maybe I don't need glasses. Uh, I'll just you know, <laughs> so we're going to hear from Tom first. Tom, uh, tell, us, tell us your story. OK, so what my happened? story is that I broke my leg while having sex. All right. So I'm sorry, he broke his yeah. leg whilst he was having sex. Oh, Isabel. Yeah. One time my dog bit James Gandolfini. <laughs> Sick. Isabel's uh, dog uh, bit James Gandolfini and Bert. I was once hospitalized in Spain for eating too much ham. <laughs> Ryan, we, uh, who here would you like to hear more from? Who do you think? Uh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, yeah, just, we need more details. Was this a fall out of bed situation? Was there a bed involved in this situation? What, there, what's there was the situation? actually not a bed even involved. Wow. We, you know, I grew up in a small town and instead of having house parties, we would have field parties, just like in an open field where you could hang out. What town? Oh, Salisbury, North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, you've been there, I know. You know it, I know you All know. right, Tom, keep going. Um, and so we were, you know, having a party and all the cars were sort of parked on this little hill in this meadow. And as we were leaving, my girlfriend and I at the time said our goodbyes. Things obviously started getting a little hot and heavy. She couldn't resist. And, uh, you know, we wanted a little cover, so we decided as we started hooking up that we would just hide kind of underneath this huge truck that was parked there. Under a truck? Under a it truck. was like in, it was at night in a field. And a it was monster sort of truck, like, Yeah, what kind of truck was this? Yeah. It was a pickup, like a, a, a pretty standard pickup, but like jacked up. Like what ice color ice. was you it, Tom? <laughs> what, what color, color was, was the, the truck, truck, Tom? Was the... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was pretty dark out. It's hard to say. And <laughs> my mind was kind of preoccupied at the time. <laughs> like, I'm not sure I would have known at the moment. <laughs> um, it, yeah, so I, I would guess it's like a, it was very dark. It was hard to see, but it was like a, it was a jacked up truck. And we kind of started, moved underneath the truck, and, you know, next thing I knew, I heard the engine revving up. Uh-oh. Stop. And we tried to, we <gasps> tried to move. Nah. But the truck started rolling forward, <gasps> and we were on the ground, and it was too late. I'm so sorry. Nice. When you say too late, <laughs> the fuck, yeah. Tom? So you mean that the, the wheel, the monster wheel, it went over your leg? Ran over my leg, exactly. Can I ask... <laughs> you, were li you were lying down. Yes. <laughs> I've heard enough. Yeah, yeah we've, I've heard heard enough. we've heard enough. <laughs> yeah. Brian, yeah. Natasha, yeah. anyone else you'd like to hear sure, from? Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Go what's your question? Honey, was Gandolfini as great as he seemed? <laughs> he was really gracious um, when it happened because yeah. I was a little starstruck and nervous, and he was really nice once we realized there wasn't any bleeding and my dog hadn't, like, broken skin, then... He was really nice. So where, where on Gandolfini? <laughs> on his leg. Oh, all right. Yes, kind of like... A lot like... of legs tonight. <laughs> yes, yeah. so it was on the, like, lower part of his leg near his ankle. So sorry. Um... You even sound, <laughs> you even sound like <laughs> Columbus. I'm so sorry. Uh, just Not... one more Just thing. one more thing. Hey, just... yeah. What kind of dog? Oh, it's a corgi named Bear. Named? Bear? Bear. Bear. Huh. A bear dog. dog. That's all, all right. Dog. Yeah. Okay, Bert, Ryan, any, any thoughts for Bert or what you'd like to know about this ham hospitalization? Yeah, uh, so it, was it a sheer amount of ham that, that what, what, wait, so a what? <laughs> so, <laughs> was it, did you choke on the ham? Was it too much? Was it a cholesterol situation? Did this take years? What was, what, what happened? And had it ever come up before yeah, in your life? Yeah. It never came up before in my life. This was my first time traveling international, internationally with my girlfriend. And we went to Spain, and we tried. I tried every bit of ham that I could because every restaurant said they had the best ham. So when we, get, we landed, I had a plate of ham. My girlfriend's a vegetarian, so I felt like I had to eat the whole thing. Got to the hotel, the room service menu said that that was the best Iberian <laughs> ham. Got a plate. 
Uh, and then I couldn't sleep because of the jet lag that first night, so I ordered another plate from uh, room ham. service. Ham. No <laughs> so Amsterdam. The yeah. next, no in spades. So the next morning, we, uh, I, I woke up not feeling great, went to a museum, ended up basically fetal position uh, in the museum, and my girlfriend came, couldn't find me because she had kept going, came back, saw that I was laying down, and we rushed to the hospital, and got, uh, they said I had gastroenteritis. They took a bunch of tests, and I had to not eat ham for the rest of the trip. And take oh. you, you felt the pain. Oh, yeah. And then you thought, I have to lie down. I couldn't move. Uh, couldn't, wow. couldn't carry move. on with the death by ham. ham. That's by yeah. ham. It was basically a whole pig's ass cheek. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Worth of ham. When you put it like that, it does feel like something that would make you sick. It That's does. Really <laughs> well, look, it's, we've heard from all three. I could about... do this, by the way, all night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's. Let's, it's, it's not, you can discuss between yeah, yourselves. We'll discuss, but I think we sort of know. Yeah, I think, we, I think this is the right thing that's on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Has anyone had sex under a truck, to be <laughs> honest? I mean, probably. Yeah. Probably. So yeah, who probably. do you think is telling the truth? Uh, to be absolutely fair, Isabel and Bert, I wasn't really listening to your stories because I was still trying to. <laughs> I was like, I, I, very much. I, my I, head was I, still over here. I, but. I, I, I bet you seem very trustworthy. They, they seem like decent people, but like the idea people, is yeah. we, we pick one. One person who's right. telling the so, truth. Who's absolutely telling the truth. Yeah. Uh, Let's go with death by him. So we're I just feel like he was sort of him. angry in his storytelling, which makes me think he was <laughs> exasperated <laughs> by, you know what I mean? Like, how many times do I have to talk about this ham this situation? Okay. So, this is what we're saying. Bert's telling the truth. I think, I I'm think. I'm with you. Okay. I so you're, I got you. You're Let's going see. for? We're saying Bert's telling the truth. We're saying that Bert is telling the truth, and Tom and Isabel are lying. Will the person who's telling the truth oh, wait, it's please right. step forward? And to prove it, we actually have... We've got photographic evidence of Bert's ham overdose. Look at Bert right here. On... Oh, you're lucky you're alive. You're there it is. There he is, dicing with death yeah. at that very, very moment. What Thank a you, Tom. Person. Thank you, Isabel. Bless you, Bert. That was Late Late Liars. We'll be right back, everybody. Yeah.